Hey, welcome. How are you today, buddy? Okay? Excellent, dog. How are you? Very good. Always a pleasure, as you know. All right, I began the program today at 3 o'clock with eight NBA questions, and I answered them myself. So now I'm going to let the expert answer them, and I'm going to start with number one, and that is Houston. Is Houston the way D'Antoni likes to play, which is very successful in a regular season, and Harden, who I don't trust in a big game, and their defense, is it good enough? Can they win an 89-88 game in a big spot? Is Houston style and star player good enough to win an NBA championship? Yes. It is. Yep, I'm, I'm not saying they're going to, but uh, they've proven they're the best team in the league. They've proven that over the course of the year. Uh, Golden State with Steph injured right now, they're even you know they, they just haven't been hitting on all cylinders. Now, if they can pull a Cleveland and do whatever you do during the regular season, and then flip a switch in the playoffs, I'm not saying they're not going to win. I'm copping out. Like you asked me who's going to win, I I have no clue. I think it's the most open it's been. In my heart, I still like Golden State, but um, if, if you were intelligent, I think you'd you'd bet on Houston, despite what they've done in the playoffs in the past. Uh, I just think that you know over eighty two games, dog, they've proven they're the best team. Obviously, they've improved the team. They're so much better defensively than they were. I mean, they don't want to play an eighty eight eighty five game, but um, they're just a much much better team. Uh, I still think Golden State will find a way if they get healthy and get back to playing the way they're capable of playing. But, I mean, it's hard to look away from Houston's body of work in the regular season. All right, that's question one. Question two, you kind of answered it. That is the health of Golden State. Are you more worried about getting Curry back in the mix and getting them healthy, or are you more worried about lack of rhythm because they haven't played together a lot? Which one is it? Uh, Second one. Uh, I think Steph will be back. I mean, unless they're hiding it, I think he's going to be back. I think they've been very cautious, which you should be, with him. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I'm I'm hopeful and confident he's going to be back. That his health is going to be okay. Not this first, uh, not this first round, no round two, correct? No, exactly. Uh, but I think you know, once they get him back, um, I, I I think you have to wonder about the other one. I mean, he's he's been in and out all year. They've been in and out all year. Now, having said that, you still look at their their numbers, you know, they're, they're still a, a, a great team and they've proven in the last couple of years they know the drill. They know what it takes to win in April, May, and June. Uh, but I, I don't think they have been near the team this year that they've been the last couple of years. And that's got to be concerning, even if you're Steve Kerr. All right, that's number two, so you're worried about them. Number three, and you're going to do the game tomorrow with the Wizards. Why? Or, uh, or Sun, uh, I think it is tomorrow. Tomorrow. 5.30. Yep. Um, the um, why would I believe that this version of the Raptors is going to make that next step when previous versions of the Raptors fell apart? <laughs> that that might be the toughest question of all. Uh, I, I just think I think they've been a better team. I, I, I guess, same thing I said about Houston. I think they have clearly been the best team in the Eastern Conference. Uh, I think DeMar DeRozan's playing even better than he played in the past. I think Valanchunas is playing a little bit better. And I love their bench. Their bench is much better than it's been. They're more consistent. I don't know if the numbers say that. I don't know if the personnel says that. But when you look at what their bench has done for them all year, you feel good about it. I mean, Dwayne Casey's going to play 10 guys. Most guys go the other way, you know, and gets the playoffs, and you're going to play eight or nine. He's believed, and rightfully so, what this bench has done all year. Um, I mean, you know, who would have been talking about Pirtle and, and Fred Van Vliet leading the way? But I, I think it's legit, uh, and, and I do think they're the best team in the Eastern Conference. I, I think that it will be different right. this year for Toronto. All right, that's number three. Number four, uh, do I believe that Cleveland can turn it on, on and off again like a water faucet? We've been in this past before. Last year, nobody knew what to expect, and they killed everybody. What makes us think that Cleveland can't do that again? 23. Uh, if they're close, he's going to get them over. Uh, it, it, it it baffles me. I mean, they're a soap opera every year, Doug. Uh, they change coaches. They change half the team in the middle of the year. They battle sickness, injury, everything. And somehow it gets to playoff time, and here they here they are again. I do not like what I've seen from them this year. Uh, I'm I'm more concerned. Uh, I, I I question whether it can happen, but I'm so much a LeBron believer that if they're close, 
um, that guy's going to find a way. Kevin Love is back healthy, and that's really significant. Uh, I'm, I'm not as sold on all these new guys and all that, but if they're close, the combination of, of LeBron and Kevin Love, uh, if I'm anybody else in the East, and the two, we did one of the games. They just they beat they just beat Toronto twice. Um, recently uh it, it scares me i you know like you got to wonder if they don't have everybody's number in the eastern conference particularly with with boston not being healthy no, i'd say you still think cleveland very dangerous we'll get you a pick a little later on oklahoma city question five this is what i did earlier today yep. question five with okc um you know do i they were very inconsistent all year they didn't shoot well early in the year they didn't play great defense late in the year they did win some games to get in uh do i believe that this mix will finally gel in this postseason scenario here, first off against Utah? Yeah, I, I, they're, they're too talented. They've played too well the second half of the year, more than the second half of the year. Their their talent is staggering. Uh, I mean, they've got, you know, two, for putting Carmelo aside, which I, I don't mean that disrespectfully, they got two of the best, whatever, pick a number, five, six, seven players in the whole league right there. Um, I, I think they're... They're not as good defensively as they've been, but they're still okay. Their their numbers, they've played so well late. they got to scare you the way they're up and down, for sure. Uh, I love the job Quinn Snyder's done in Utah, but I like OKC early. I don't think they're good enough to win the whole thing, but they're they're so much better than they've been for most of the year, and they're so talented in the playoffs, and talent is such a major factor come playoff time. You know, those guys win games. All right, so you think they'll figure out a way to get through this first round? It sounds like I, it is Philadelphia. Is Philadelphia? Uh, will youth be served with the Sixers? Not in the first round. Uh, I love the job. Bro. What they go from ten to twenty-eight to fifty-two, or I'm probably off a number that in there somewhere. It, it's incredible. Um, they need Embiid back. Uh, I think uh, you know Spo does such a good job. Miami's such a good team. They're a better team than the, than the talent they have there. But I, I just think Philly's talent is so good. They've played so well for so long. Now, you don't win 52, and you don't win whatever they've won in a row, 14, 15, 16 in a row. They're going to find a way to win this series with the home court, and they've got a much better path to the conference finals. I mean, that that was huge, them finishing third. Uh, With all due respect to to Boston, I I love where they are. Uh, So you think, can Philly get to uh, an NBA final? Yes. You think they can, legitimately? Wow. Yes. I think I, I think it would be overachieving, to be honest with you. I think it would be a year ahead of schedule at least. But if Embiid comes back and plays the way he's capable of, I could see them, again, I'm assuming a lot here. I'm, I'm assuming, A, they win the first series against Miami, and B, then they beat um, Boston, who I think will win that other series. All right. Is Anthony Davis good enough to win a series against the Trailblazers? Question seven. No. He's good enough to do anything, but I don't think their team is good enough to beat Portland. Portland's been Portland's been under the radar all year. I mean, I, I live out in Seattle, as you know, and uh, I mean the job Terry Stotts has done in that team. I just think it's a better team. I think it, it's put together better. I, is he the best player in that series? Without question, but I, I don't think he can get that team uh, through Portland. You don't. All right. No. Is the freak good enough to beat the Celtics? No way. Absolutely no way. Wow, you are high. Even with the Celtic injuries, you think Boston wins that series? Yeah, they're, they're a better basketball team. I love the job Joe Prunty's done. The Greek freak is off the charts. But Boston's been, I mean, all year, I mean, what what hasn't Boston dealt with? I, mean, I don't know Marcus Smart's uh, injury situation, dog. So hey, I he's should, out uh, two weeks. I checked it. He's out two more weeks. That's not good, uh, but I, I just uh, I, I can't go against him. Brad Stevens and that team, I just think it's a better basketball team. I think it'll be a war, but I think they're a better basketball team. All right, question nine. As a coach, would P.J. Carlissimo, if you can sit there and watch every game of this first-round series from an intrigue standpoint, which one would you pick? I think this one, I think the one I have the TV game tomorrow, I, I think this is the furthest thing from a 1-8 series that's ever ever happened. 
Um, John Wall misses 41 games. He's missed half the season. They've split the games. Um, I, I, I think this one, I, I, I'm tempted in the East, I'm tempted to say that Indiana, who beats Cleveland four times, but, it, but again, I'm such a LeBron guy. I think this series has more intrigue, and you're going to laugh at me, but I, I, I'm... If if the Spurs were home, which obviously they're not, and they don't deserve to be, they're so good at home, that series might be better than people think it's going to be. Uh, they're so good at home and so unspurs-like and bad on the road this year. Uh, I don't see how they can overcome uh, San Antonio. But it, that, that's really going to be interesting. With the, I'm dying to see games three and four in that series. All right. Uh, how many seven game? Question 10. How many seven games, which you usually don't get a lot of in the first round? We had one last year, Utah and the Clippers, because he was hurt, Griffin. How many seven games do you see in round one? I could see two or three. I, I think it's going to be a much better first uh, first round, of the, whatever you call this, the first round, whatever it is. I, I think there's a, a possibility of two or three seven games. All right, which ones are the best? You like the Washington-Toronto seven games? No, I, I, I just think Toronto's going to find a way. I, I, Boston, the Boston series is really intriguing to me, and, and I think uh, like one of those others. Uh, In the West, you know, the Cleveland and the, the Oklahoma City. Yeah, the- I, you know, I, I think the Oklahoma, Utah, I think Cleveland, Indiana, I'm, I'm thinking might be better. I, I'm believing a lot in that 4-0. I don't know why, but Indiana over the years has been a tough matchup for Cleveland, uh, and, and I think you got so many first time players for the Raptors I you know excuse me for the Cavs I think they'll learn on the fly and and they'll also come to realize we don't have to win it we just got to be in the game and LeBron will deliver us in the fourth quarter but that's still a big jump there's a lot of guys that don't even know what the playoffs are in that series so I I think there's a couple series that could be six for sure and maybe seven all right are you in favor of doing a little different format where if nothing else, you see the final four, so Houston, Golden State can play in the final. But if you don't want to do that, seed one through 16, so you don't have a scenario like the other night when Milwaukee could care less about playing in Philadelphia down 58 to 18. Are you in favor of coming up with a couple different little wrinkles to make it a little more interesting down the stretch of the regular season? How about that? I'd like to tweak it, Doc, but I don't know what to do. It's just it's such a gigantic move to go away from from east west and if you put that aside i don't think there's much you can do that's going to make any difference uh you know i mean it, it's just you can't the, the schedules are so different i mean you have to change the whole format you can't play you know you can't be in the west and play 52 games and 30 on the other side and vice versa and then like just change it up at the end it's not fair if, if you're going to change that 1 to 16 deal then you got to change the whole regular season schedule you can't have pe- that many different that many people you can't have half the team playing one schedule and half playing the other the other schedule uh, and then I, I, we see them. I buy that now, but could you do something in the Final Four to make sure your two best teams play in the championship? Let's be honest. Houston Golden State are the two best teams in the NBA Final there, PJ, is going to be the Western Conference Final. If you reseed there, Houston would be the one, Toronto would be the two, Golden State the three, Cleveland the four, and that way at least there's a good chance Houston and Golden State could play in the Final. How about that for a I, sec? I buy that one a lot more. Or I, I, I'd say I'd need to top out and think about it a little bit, but I'd buy that one a lot more than the one to sixteen seed in the beginning. Um, I, I, I do buy that a lot more. You do. All right. Now, uh, you, you, it sounds like you like Golden State to win a seven game series against the Rockets. I do. And who do you like in the East? I like Toronto. I, I think this is the year Toronto's going to break through. I think they're going to find a way, and I, that means I think they're going to find a way to beat Cleveland. That means in the second round, LeBron's out of there. You think that could happen, huh? Well, I, I think it can happen. I would not invest one penny just because. I mean, it's, it, he's absurd. Doug, you could make a case this is one of the best years he's had since he's been in the league with all they've dealt with and them doing what they're doing. So he's one of those guys. I, you know, he's not like, I don't know, is it vampires or what? You don't need to put one stake in his heart. You've got to put about four stakes through his heart um, if you're going to beat him. And uh, I, I just think Toronto's a better team. I don't even know if those two are going to meet in the second round, but I think this might be the year that the eight that, that seven in a row ends. And you might be. All right, now, uh, for, for a little fun purposes, give me an upset where I can take a team, root for, and have a chance to win a little plus with the money. You got one for me? 
Um, what underdog? What underdog? Do you think it's worth? And you just said you wouldn't invest anything against LeBron. So no, definitely not. What one? What uh, you know? I like Philadelphia. By the way, three and a half to one to get to a final. I want to try that one. What? Well, under- you call that, I mean, you call them an underdog, even though they're home in the first round. No, no, sure, no, I, I, no, I think they're a good one. No, no, and, no, no. I don't. I don't mean an underdog first round. Just to get to the final, it's three and a oh, half to, to the one. Finals. Three and a half wow. to one. Three and a half to one. You like that? Nobody. You don't Nobody's- like. No, there's no underdog getting into the fight. You can't the the the, the league the way it's set up. You got to win four out of seven. No way. No, 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 no underdog gets to the finals. No, I don't. Oh, okay, so you think Philadelphia then won't get to the final? All right. No, uh, no. I w- I would love to see Brett do it, but the chalk's gonna chalk's gonna be in the finals. All right. So give me an upset in the first round. That you not that you think it's gonna be an upset, but you got a chance with an underdog. Which one? Well, it's a four or five. I you call that an underdog. I think Utah's got a chance against OKC. A chance. Yeah. Yep. What a job you did. Enjoy it. You know what? We'll talk to you along the way. Thanks very much, pal. Appreciate it. All right, it. dog. Great being with you. Always a pleasure. PJ, call us tomorrow. We continue here on Mad Dog Unleashed.